if we see our product as books and what we compete on as price, we lose. If we see our product as a service and a community of which books are one piece, well then we can compete. My wife and I were in our mid-50s. We read in the paper that the owners of our favorite local bookstore were going to retire and sell the store. We just thought in a very general and uninformed way that running a bookstore would be a really fun thing to do. So we set about trying to figure out whether actually it was an incredibly stupid idea or a really good idea. The independent bookstore industry is one of these anomalies that I am so fascinated with. My research looks at industries that are facing large technological shocks or shifts in their business models, and they have to adapt. The Indies are one of those rare occasions where not only have they been able to respond and do well, but they're thriving in ways that nobody really expected. If you go back, what we begin to see from 2009 to 2015, there's been nearly a 35% increase in the number of independent bookstores that have opened or are surviving in the United States today. What I'm really selling is my bookstore, not this book. The bottom line is most people still are trained to buy books online. We can't compete on price. We compete on the quality of our booksellers. Thank you for supporting your local independent bookstore. I got Jacqueline Woodson in the next room. She's an award-winning author, and she's in Porter Square Books. What makes these bookstores so unique is, is that they understand the local community that they're operating in in ways that are quite different than the large mass retailers. These in some ways are becoming places for convening that allow you to begin to start thinking about bookstores as something more than just about purchasing a product that you take home. There's definitely an increasing sense of the value of local independent business. What independent booksellers do for us is that they really provide a story of hope. The Indies are one of those examples where they've been able to go back to a set of core values around community, curation, convening, that allowed them to reposition and grow in ways that nobody thought was possible.